can feel the improvement. Sean. Sure is. I'm guessing we'll find Lady Periel either at the palace or the inn. The inn? She booked the biggest room they had. Didn't want to stay at the palace in case the walls had ears. Gotcha. Then let's go find her. They are not at home. Did you just materialize out of thin air? Did I miss... what? Miscalculate? How dare you! That's not at all what I said. You listen to me, Buster. I don't make mistakes, because I'm perfect with a sparkly, pristine capital P. Whatever you think you saw, you didn't, right? Um, right. That's more like it. Don't you ever question a paragon.
How's that? The Alliance seeks to hire a culinary mind. Huh, hmm, yes, an intriguing thought. Alas, I'm already on a mission to find a recipe for the legendary dish known as Grilled Tatuva. I'm told the people who devised it are all bark and, um... Well, that's it, actually. All bark. Whatever could that be referring to? Oh, I must find that grilled Tatuva recipe! Oh, where are you, oh bark people? Do I bay up the wrong tree? Chase my own tail! Uh, uh, what the heck? Huh? Who's that? <laughs> wow, I can't believe you spotted me. Mm, that's impressive, to be honest. Listen, whatever you do, just don't try to drag me out of this bag, okay? If you even think about it, 
I'll get really, really mad. I'm not trapped in here or anything. It's just so comfy. Why would I ever want to leave? I make magical store packs, you see. And some guy was so desperate for one that he kept trying to yank me out and steal mine. So naturally I ran away. And now here I am. <laughs> you know, if you happen to have a, a safe, not full of thieves place for me to work, I'd be happy to snuggle down there and handle all your bag-making needs. So, uh, any questions? Comments? Compliments? Join us. <laughs> I totally nailed that negotiation. My name's Nell, by the way. If you need a sack, that's just my bag. Get it? Okie doke. I'll head over to your town. So that's how Nell gets around. Again. Really? I hope you're not following me. Of course not. But are you all right? That looks like a nasty... I didn't fall. You skinned your knee. Look. I didn't fall, okay? So... Oh, yeah. That's... That's pretty gross. You listen to me. My teleportation is flawless. I'm flawless, okay? Impervious to error, which means you didn't see a thing, all right? All right. Of course you didn't, because I don't make mistakes. Okay, but... So this is where per uh where Lady Periel is staying. I have had it up to here with the local aristocracy. It's as though they think of nothing but themselves. Milady, perhaps you might lower your voice. Ugh, why bother? If there are spies afoot, I will happily scream my thoughts into their ears! Ask yourselves this, spies! Which do your masters value more? Their country, or their personal wealth? Now come, Janquis! Noah, Sabine, impeccable timing. It's good to see you safe, Perry. 
And why wouldn't I be? I had my secret passage, remember? Now then, I understand you're doing a fine job with my resistance army. Tell me everything. So that's what you're calling the castle now? You like it? A passable name, I suppose. Milady, I believe it's time. Ah, indeed it is. Noah, come with me. We'll be joining a conference between King Yuma and his Chamber of Lords, strictly as observers, I'm afraid. But I still wish for you and the others to attend me. Save for Jenquis and Sabine, who shall remain here and set up a means to communicate with Emir back at Castle... Castle... Uh, castle whatever. Can't imagine anything more boring than a council, so glad to be counted out. Great, I'm in. Well then, I'll come along! Not to question you, milady, but would you not prefer me at your side? Do not treat me like a child, Jane Quest. Now, relay my dinner order to the kitchen as we discussed. Uh, and tell the cook to use a little spice this time. Sorry, where are we going, exactly? To the palace! It's on the north side of town! Hmm. Hmm. We are working diligently to establish contact with the castle. Would you like to change your retinue in the meantime? Welcome, Countess Perio. You may enter. My thanks. So, 
What's on the table for this big shindig? A letter has arrived from Dukes Aldric, in which he proposes a new relationship between you, Chris, and Galdia. Which I take to mean leaving the League of Nations and joining the Empire side. Betray the League? What kind of scoundrel would agree to that? Listen to you! You've the fire of a resistance leader already! And you'll soon see for yourself what manner of scoundrel would scheme such a thing. Pray excuse our tardiness. Ah, there you are, Periel. We're just, uh... Well, it's good of you to come. Right this way, if you would. Of course, Mere Majesty. Ah, Countess Groom. You must be quite the important woman indeed to keep His Majesty waiting. No, no, it's all right. I promised her I'd wait, and, uh... Nevertheless, permit me to remind you of your position. You have been invited here to observe, and only to observe. And who, pray tell, are these people? My humblest apologies, Lord Harlan. If I may, Your Majesty, I would like to present Commander Noah, the young founder of the Resistance Army. Or, nay, founder of the Alliance, a group which seeks to defend the League of Nations from Imperial invasion. Resistance Army, is it? Um, well, I, I don't... And let me present myself! I'm Leon, and I'm basically his second-in-command. An alliance? Well, that sounds most prompt. Ahem! Let us move on to the matter at hand, Your Majesty. Dukes Aldric of the Galdian Empire seeks an alliance with us, and we must decide if we will accept his terms or no. I believe the Dukes to be a rising star within the Empire and think there is much we could learn from his bold leadership. I see this offer as a major opportunity for you, Chris. Especially compared to some up-jumped mercenary and whomever else comprises his alliance. Are you mad? This is the same brazen tyrant who invaded Groom! His true intentions could not be more obvious! Countess Groom, may I remind you that you are an observer here and nothing more? I expect you to restrain yourself in the presence of His Majesty. Ugh. Sorry, Periel. Um, but Lord Harlan, I think, uh, well... Maybe there might be some merit to what Countess Groom has to say. Ah, but this is distressing indeed, Your Majesty. You know I have worked tirelessly for you, Chris, ever since your father sat the throne. Yes. I have long been one of House Sharith's most faithful servants, and yet now you claim to have no faith in my perspective? Never mind that House Fallmeyer nearly beggared itself to support this country in its year of famine. Take heart, Lord Harlan. King Yuma knows well both our family's loyalty to the realm. I am sure he did not mean to dismiss your many great deeds. No, of course not. 
We should act in due haste to inform Dukes Aldrich that we agree to his terms. Hold up! Now hold on! You're just gonna surrender to him without a fight? <laughs> ah, such ignorance speaks volumes about you, boy! No one is saying anything of the sort! Dukes Aldric has kindly extended to us the hand of friendship and unity. If you would speak of war, then tell me what guarantee we have that Eucris's army would prevail. We cannot permit our great nation to fall while under your majesty's watch. Yes, but... Cassius? You need only to give the order, your majesty. And I shall battle the Empire with everything I can muster. And what then, General Cassius? Can you promise us victory? Can you guarantee his majesty that we will emerge triumphant? <sighs> the Galdian Empire is more than just Dukes Aldric. They have the renowned General Goldwyn as well. I would be a poor military man indeed to assure ultimate victory. There, do you see? No assurances. And if General Goldwyn were faced with our General Cassius, would he promise the Empire victory? What? It's a fair question, don't you think? Even the best generals know there are no guarantees on the battlefield. And in fact, they likely know this fact best of all. Of course, all I know of the matter is what I've read in books. General Cassius, however, speaks from decades of experience. But perhaps, Lord Harlan, you have another opinion? Do you believe our esteemed General Cassius is guaranteed to lose? Uh, well, I... Well, Harlan? No! No, of course I don't believe that! But this argument is mere sophistry. It has nothing to do with the topic at hand. Melridge, you were summoned here to draft our reply once this matter was settled, not to sow doubt in his majesty with rhetorical nonsense. Quite right, quite right. I do apologize for any confusion I may have caused. That said, there is still time before Dukes Aldrich will expect our reply, and His Majesty seems exhausted. Shall we table the matter for today? But... Your Majesty! Oh, um... Yes, I think so. Let's give it a little more time before we decide. You see now what I've been dealing with? It's been an entire week of that. Ah, uh, but aren't you and the king supposed to be friends? Groom and you, Chris, have enjoyed favorable relations for generations. And I visited many times as a child. We are acquaintances of old, but I would not go so far as to say friends. You, Chris. You see, is one of the three great powers of the League, along with Northstar and the Dragon Newt Nation of Kinon. My little groom is of minor significance in comparison. Nevertheless, I am told that at the untimely death of Yuma's father, the Queen hid herself away in grief. And now, Yuma has come to ascend the throne. He and I come from very similar circumstances. Yet you have such different personalities. 
Hmm? Uh, yes, well, even as a child, Yuma was never very decisive. You think maybe he's afraid to defy that Harlan guy? To be fair, the previous king was quite beholden to Harlan. That is why the man was first given his station. A station he has leveraged for all it's worth. <sighs> anyway, we should not tarry here long before returning to the inn. I have no desire to run into Harlan again. Wanna poke around a little until it's time to go? Hail. Say, uh, you're the fellow from the Alliance, right? Get me wrong, I, I wasn't eavesdropping on the conference. I just, uh, ha happened to catch that one little part. <laughs> Who are you? Oh, oops. <laughs> Silly me. Um, I'm Yulin, King Yuma's handmaid. So, um, please don't think ill of his majesty. I know people call him indecisive, but... They've got him all wrong. He's a very kind ruler, you see, and he worries about making decisions that lead to people getting hurt. Gotcha! Yes! Yep. Gotcha! <laughs> Nothing to it. Yep. Mm. 
<laughs> Nothing to it. Yeah. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Nothing to it. Yep. Come on. Come on. Perfect catch. Hup. Come on. Come on. Yes! Where have you been? We should return to the inn at once so I can continue brooding about a solution to this problem. Do you think there even is a solution? Well, I guess we could... Wait, no, sorry, I got nothing. Countess Periel, His Majesty Yuma is here to speak with you. May I open the door? Of course. Please. Enter. Hello, Periel. I had a little extra time and was hoping I could see you. I'm most pleased you've come to visit. I only wish it could have been for one of our usual goodwill summits, instead of this most unfortunate situation. Oh, um, yes, of course. I'm terribly sorry about your country. Your name is Noah, yes? Did you rise up to fight for Pariel's sake? I rose up to stop the Empire. Oh, you don't say. Not for me? Oh. Such a pity. Huh? But never mind that, Yuma. Let me ask you something. Not as the Countess of Groom, but as someone you've known since we were both small. What do you intend to do? Will you fight? Or will you place your trust in Dukes Aldrich? Well, I, uh, I just... The truth is, um, I don't know what the right choice is. If you stay the course your advisors are laying for you, you Chris will be at the Empire's mercy. No, worse, at the Duke's. But if we fight and lose, my people will fare far worse. Perhaps, um, the Duke's made a mistake in attacking your country. If so, you could maybe still talk it out? 
Uh, your Majesty, you're gonna be late for your next... Oh, is it that time already? I'm sorry, Periel. We'll continue this later. Countess Grum, Commander Noah, I bid you both good day. Ugh, same old Yuma. He never changes. We need to find some way to help make up his mind. Come on, people. Ideas! Uh, sorry, but I'm not much of an ideas man. Hmm... Nope, still nothing. But let's think while we walk. Maybe some exercise will knock a good idea loose. Not the worst plan I've ever heard. Well then, I'll come along! <laughs> That's some good booze. Tastes even better on a day like this. Excuse me, are you the famous spearman Ryufan? I heard talk of your exploits in town. Well, if the likes of you have heard of me, then I suppose I must be famous. I am currently seeking stalwart companions. Can I interest you in joining the Alliance? You wish to be companions, lad? I don't suffer fools who are weaker than I. If you wish to face me and find out if that includes your sorry self, well... Ah, normally I'd give you a thrashing, lad, but I'd hate to see you trip and twist a finger or something. Come back when you're less of a weedy runt. Ah, normally I'd give you a thr- This is where that Melridge guy lives, right? Guests, is it? How unusual. 
I remember you from the conference earlier. Please, come in, come in. I see, I see. You seek some method of swaying His Majesty. But why would you bring this matter to me? Because you were the one who stood up to Harlan at the conference. Uh, yep, you were all like, but riddle me this, jerk, and then everyone got distracted and nothing was settled. <laughs> yes, I suppose I did do something along those lines. I admit to being less than thrilled with the prospect of giving Lord Harlan free reign to transform our relationship with the Empire. Agreed. We cannot permit Dukes Aldrich to have his way on this. Lord Harlan has been advocating for cuts to the studium. Should he gain too much power, I might find it hard to continue living in the comfort to which I've become accustomed. You don't say. Noah, are you even listening here? This guy's just in it for himself! Correct. Not that merely whittling away Lord Harlan's power will change much in the long run. Your name is Noah, yes? Well, there may be a way to change things if a person was so inclined. Countess. Did you know Lord Harlan purchased an old manor on the outskirts of town last year from another member of the Chamber of Lords? He's apparently so fond of it that he made it his primary residence. Well, bully for him. What of it? I hear the manor has recently seen quite the stream of unfamiliar faces hailing from foreign lands. I wonder if some might be messengers from the Empire. At the same time, security around the manor has been tightened to the extent that actual Eucrisians are rarely allowed inside. So, uh, this matters why? He's implying that Lord Harlan bought a manor on the outskirts of town in order to meet secretly with foreign agents. That does indeed sound very suspicious. And one more thing. On the southeast side of Haishan, you'll find an old part of the city known as Lost Town, which was flooded out long ago. While Harlan's house of mystery may be under tight guard, one could easily slip in by way of Lost Town, were they so inclined. How do you know all that? Oh, I've been poking around for holes in the man's armor for some time now. This guy is incorrigible. So you're suggesting we sneak into Harlan's manor and search for evidence linking him to the Empire? I'm suggesting that if one were to find such evidence, it could be a breakthrough in terms of the pending alliance negotiations. While I am not fond of proposing tenuous plans, sometimes needs must. Tenuous certainly beats sitting on a sofa and doing nothing. Be aware that Lost Town is said to be infested with monsters. Anyone heading there should take all necessary precautions. We'll be careful. Thanks. He said Lost Town is on the southeast side of the city, yes? Yup! Now let's go dig up some dirt on Harlan! Yeah, let's see how noble he feels when we're done with him. I think you might be losing sight of our objective here.
This must be Lost Town. Lost is putting it mildly. The heck happened here? There was a terrible disaster years and years ago. It was long before my time, so I don't know the details. So if we make our way through this place, we'll be able to sneak into Harlan's Manor? Uh, yep. Or that's what Professor Smarty Pants said, at least. <laughs> <laughs> 